Okay, this video is gonna help you with your D note. So if you're gonna make a staff with your hand, your D note is gonna sit right below the staff. So it's not gonna have a line through it. That would be your C. But the one that sits right below your staff without the line, that is your D. So there's some special things we have to do for our D. On your left hand, you remember you have your ring finger right here in that ring. For your D note, you have to kick that out a little bit. Just like that, just on your D. So if you're done playing your D, let's say you have an E next, you have to snap in that third valve slide again. Okay, so just on your D, it comes out. Everything else, you're going to bring it back in. For your D, you're going to press down first finger, so the finger that's closest to the mouthpiece. And then you're going to press down third finger, the finger that's closest to your valve. Second valve is going to be up for D. So again, check to make sure right now that your third valve slide is pushed out using your ring finger on your left hand. And this is going to be what our D sounds like. Again, it's a lower note, so we need to use a looser buzz. To practice our tonguing again today, we are going to play four quarter notes on a D, and then four quarter rest, and then four quarter notes. You want to make sure that your tongue is hitting right here where your teeth and your gums meet. Not down here, not way up at the roof of your mouth. Okay. Nice firm corners. You may want to wet your lips to help you. Four quarter notes. One, two, three. Good, let's try it again. Ready? Okay, good job, guys. If you felt pretty comfortable with your D, you can go ahead and move on to your last note in our Fab Five, which is your C.